Chachma Shaloma, Wisdom of Solomon, 11. She prospered their works in the hand of the holy prophet. They went through the wilderness that was not inhabited and pitched tents in places where there lay no way. They stood against their enemies and were avenged of their adversaries. When they were thirsty, they called upon you, and water was given them out of the flinty rock, and their thirst was quenched out of the hard stone. For by what things their enemies were punished, by the same they in their need were benefited. For instead of a perpetual running river troubled with foul blood, for a manifest reproof of that commandment, whereby the infants were slain, you gave unto them abundance of water by a means which they hoped not for, declaring by that thirst then how you had punished their adversaries, for when they were tried, albeit but in mercy chastised, they knew how the wicked were judged in wrath and tormented, thirsting in another manner than the just. For these you did admonish and try as a father, but the other as a severe king. You did condemn and punish. Whether they were absent or present, they were vexed alike. For a double grief came upon them, and a groaning for the remembrance of things past. For when they heard by their own punishments the other to be benefited, they had some feeling of Yahuwah. For whom they respected with scorn when he was long before thrown out at the casting forth of the infants, him in the end, when they saw what came to pass, they admired. But for the foolish devices of their wickedness, wherewith being deceived, they worshipped serpents, void of reason, and vile beasts, you did send a multitude of unreasonable beasts upon them for vengeance, that they might know that wherewithal a man sins, by the same also shall he be punished. For your almighty hand, that made the world of matter without form, wanted not means to send among them a multitude of bears or fierce lions, or unknown wild beasts full of rage newly created breathing out either a fiery vapor or filthy scents of scattered smoke or shooting horrible sparkles out of their eyes whereof not only the harm might dispatch them at once but also the terrible sight utterly destroy them yea and without these might they have fallen down with one blast, being persecuted of vengeance, and scattered abroad through the breath of your power. But you have ordered all things in measure and number and weight, for you can show your great strength at all times when you will, and who may withstand the power of your arm. For the whole world before you is as a little grain of the balance, yea, as a drop of the morning dew that falls down upon the earth. But you have mercy upon all, for you can do all things, and wink at the sins of men, because they should amend. For you love all the things that are, and abhor nothing which you have made. For not, never would you have made anything if you had hated it. And how could anything have endured if it, if it had not been your will, or been preserved if not called by you? But you spare all, for they are yours, O Yahuwah. Lover of souls.